Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It feels like such a long time since I've stood here and done a proper fashion video for you so I'm very very excited and actually the whole month of November is going to be very winter fashion heavy so I hope you guys are ready and looking forward to it and then of course it's December and it's going to be Christmas and festive so a really good couple of months of YouTube coming up so do make sure you guys are subscribed if you're new here today and if you are subscribed do make sure you turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I have uploaded and you never miss one of my videos. So today I am doing one of my most requested fashion videos ever and that's how to dress classy, chic and stylish in winter. I think a lot of people get bogged down with winter fashion thinking it's really like bulky and you have to wrap up and put loads of layers on and you end up feeling like a potato rather than your classy stylish self. And I used to feel that way too but now I just think that winter is the time that you can really go to town with your outfits and it's actually a really fun season to dress in. So I'm going to talk you through some of my top tips and some of them may seem kind of obvious but when you apply all of them at once to your wardrobe and to your daily dressing you'll end up walking out of the house looking a million dollars and you won't even really think about it. This video is partly in collaboration with farfetch.com meaning they provided me with a voucher I could choose whatever I wanted to show you but it just really helps and enables me to bring you this kind of content um, but I could choose whatever I wanted and honestly there is so much to choose from because it is like the most amazing website in the world for luxury fashion and very exciting farfetch have given me a discount code to share with you guys it's going to be valid for the most part of this week so if there's anything that you see in the video that you like or anything else on the website you can use it for 10 percent off which is amazing the code is fcff10 so just pop this in at checkout and enjoy 10 percent off so let's get going and talk about how to look classy and chic in winter <laughs> So my first tip on keeping your outfits stylish and chic in winter is coats, full stop. Coats are the most important thing in your wardrobe for this season. They are everything. We spend most of our time wearing them. We're gonna be wearing them for months on end, literally between like now and probably April, if you live in England. So I really believe that coats are the fashion fundamental and therefore the thing that you should really invest your money into. I think in general, winter is the time for investing in pieces. I mean, I try not to to advocate for fast fashion at all but I think if there is a time for fast fashion it's more like in the summer and winter is the time that you can rewear your outfits a lot and really put your money into nice quality items because they're going to look fabulous they're going to last much longer and they're going to keep you warmer it's kind of okay to wear something a bit cheap and flimsy in summer when it's really hot but in winter you really want those good quality materials that are going to keep you super cozy and that you can keep in your wardrobe for years and years to come and bring them out every single winter like I certainly do I also think that within reason you should have a few nice good coats in your wardrobe to choose from so you're not wearing the same one every single day. And I think for a classy chic wardrobe the top three coats you need are a trench coat, a wool wrap coat and a faux fur coat. In general you really want to keep these in more neutral colours because it means you're going to be able to wear them with as many different things in your wardrobe as possible and also neutral colours just look a lot more classic than like bright popping colours. Unless of course there is one particular colour that you know you love and you know fits within your wardrobe and it can be like your signature color so for example of course mine is pink and I know that I'm going to get wear out of a pink coat because it's going to go with a lot of my accessories shoes and items of clothing and of course I have a fabulous selection of coats to show you and I'm going to start off with faux fur because that's my absolute favorite I just adore faux fur and if any of you guys watched my New York vlog from a year ago now um, when me and my mum were shopping in Bloomingdale's I came across the most beautiful pink faux fur coat and I was desperate to buy it and I didn't in the end because I literally couldn't fit it in my suitcase and I regretted it ever since but I actually came across the exact same brand on Farfetch and I was so excited it's an American brand called Aparis or Aparis I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it but they do the most beautiful luxury faux fur coats and jackets I have ever seen and honestly whoever out there says that faux fur cannot compare to real fur needs to check out this brand because they are the most luxurious feeling items 
I've ever felt. I think that a really gorgeous, expensive looking faux fur is the most stylish thing that you can possibly wear in winter and it's gonna keep you so, so warm. And that's kind of another tip I have about like looking classy in winter. It is dressing for the temperature. So I personally don't like to have a lot of skin on show. I don't like to have bare legs. I don't like to have kind of like my chest and shoulders or even my arms out really. I do obviously wear mini skirts with over the knee boots and have a little bit of thigh on show, but it really is only a little but and usually I'm wearing like a long coat that kind of covers it anyway um, so it doesn't really matter but back to these coats I think a faux fur jacket is something that every girl needs last year I got my Victoria's Secret pink one and I wore it almost every single day throughout winter it was just the perfect perfect wardrobe staple and especially in such a beautiful nice color like this that will go with everything that looks so wintry and festive this could not be more perfect for a classy stylish winter wardrobe and obviously Obviously you might want something a little bit longer to cover you up even more and keep you even warmer. You might want something this kind of like mid-length or even like a full-length one. Would be so so glam, that's not really my thing but it would look amazing if that's what you like. Um, but I love this pink one, I feel like this really pale nudie pink colour is the perfect way to keep your outfits looking feminine and girly during winter and it will tone so beautifully with the rest of your neutral wardrobe like beiges and creams and camels. I just wanted to very quickly try this jacket on, I'm not going to try everything on in this video because next week I'm doing a full like outfits video where I'll try everything on for you and pair it with all different things but I couldn't resist just popping this on because it really is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen so make sure you guys tune in next week to see everything like styled and then I also wanted to show you a couple of more affordable options these are the two jackets that I have been wearing pretty much every single day alternating for the last like three weeks since I bought them they're both from Topshop and again it's nice to have a choice between a jacket and something longer I love this one. I love the beautiful champagne colour. It goes with everything and looks so, so glam. And this has been my best friend. Honestly, it is so warm and cosy. The colour is so beautiful and neutral. It goes with everything. And I've honestly just lived in this. It's like going out in a big blanket, but it just looks so glam and stylish at the same time. Next, of course, on your classy winter wardrobe checklist is a trench coat. These are my two favourite ones that I already have. I have my Burberry trench coat in the most beautiful classic stone colour and my lovely pink Hobbs trench coat. So like I said before, it's really nice to have a mix of some neutral colours that go with everything and something that is more your signature colour. I really love a trench coat because not only do they look effortlessly stylish and classic, but they're really nice to layer if you're wearing a lot of like knitwear and you don't want a big heavy coat. They're quite lightweight, but they are insulating, especially if you've got like a chunky knit underneath. It's really nice to pop something like this over the top. And you just can't really go wrong. They always look good. You don't have to go as super high end as the Burberry. I think Hobbs is a really good option. It's a nice high end, high street price. Also Ted Baker ones are amazing. And also the River Island one I showed you a few weeks ago is fabulous too. Um, as long as you get a nice quality one, they always look good. And then finally, the last classy coat you need is a wool wrap coat. These again, just look so classic. You can throw them over anything and they look super elegant. I have this beautiful one here from French Connection. I loved the beautiful blush tones and a little more affordable is this one from River Island, which is so glamorous. I also love the detachable faux fur collar and cuffs. You kind of get the best of both worlds with the faux fur and the wool. Wool coats, especially nice quality ones, are super warm, but they're relatively lightweight for winter coats. So you don't get that big, like bulky potato feeling. You still have like a nice kind of streamlined chic silhouette, which is what makes them a winter must have. So just to reiterate my point, I think coats are your number one essential. I think every girl needs a faux fur, a trench and a wool wrap coat and if you're feeling cheeky maybe even an extra faux fur jacket in a range of neutral colours maybe including your signature colour. <laughs> My second tip is knitwear and I know it sounds totally obvious like obviously Freddie everyone wears jumpers in winter but it's about choosing the right knitwear to really get that chic look. My tips for knitwear would first of all be try as hard as you can to avoid those really cheap 
affordable brands for your knitwear. I don't necessarily think you have to look to super high-end expensive prices, but somewhere in the middle I think is always good. For example, this gorgeous jumper that I'm wearing now. This is a beautiful cashmere roll neck, and to me, the perfect example of the kind of knitwear you should be buying in winter for several reasons. First of all, the quality is absolutely beautiful. It is so soft and it looks so luxurious. This one is just from m and It was about £80, so one of their more premium pieces, but you can do a lot worse. You can get, you know, cashmere jumpers like this in Reese, for example, or Club Monaco that are hundreds of pounds. So when you look at it like that, this is a really good price. So it looks great. It feels wonderful. If I follow the washing instructions, it should last me a really long time as well. And it's the kind of thing that you can just wear every single day. It's the kind of thing I do wear every single day with all different types of like skirts, shorts, trousers. It's just a wardrobe staple. Also, cashmere is incredibly thin, but incredibly warm. Like I am literally almost sweating right now, but it doesn't give you that bulky knitwear look. It's still very streamlined and fitted and just looks really, really polished and elegant. So one of my biggest tips for winter is just to line your wardrobe with pieces like this in different neutral colors. So white, beige, camel, gray, black, pink for me, like your signature colour that you know goes with the rest of your wardrobe. And on top of that, roll necks and turtlenecks and funnel necks just look so incredibly chic. It gives you a very French look and also keeps you so, so warm. I honestly hate having any of like my top half skin out. And of course, there's so many other types of knitwear to have fun with and experiment with. Jumper dresses are such a wardrobe staple. They are so cute and cozy and like casual chic looking. Um, I have this gorgeous little like knitted two piece from Zara, it's like a matching top and skirt. There's cable knit jumpers and bobble jumpers. I've seen the most adorable bobble jumper from French Connection that I really want to get for next week. But I think as a rule, if you do want to go for that chic, classy look, keep to knitwear that isn't too like baggy or too loose or too long. I think keep to like fitted silhouettes, unless of course you're gonna go for like a really skinny, sophisticated trouser. And then for example, my Topshop jumper that's like my favorite jumper of all time. This one would also look very chic, even though it's quite loose and baggy with balloon sleeves and a really relaxed roll neck. If you were wearing some super tight trousers with like a really chic pair of boots, then that would look amazing too. Just don't go baggy baggy and you'll be fine. <laughs> So my next big tip for looking chic and stylish in winter is layering neutral colours. And this is something that you will have to keep in mind every single time you buy something for your autumn wardrobe. What can this go with? Will this go with that jumper? How many jumpers do I have that will go with this and vice versa? If you Google image search or Pinterest search like classy, chic winter outfits, you will see that everyone is layering monochrome. And monochrome doesn't have to mean black and white. It just means like sticking to that same color palette. So for me, it's always like creams, whites, beige, camel. I don't really go for gray. As you know, I don't go for black, but if that is your thing, then that's also very, very chic too. It's just not my preference. And it goes for everything that you're wearing, whether it's your coats and jackets, tops, knitwear, shorts, skirts, trousers, boots, bags, scarves, hats, gloves, everything should tonally blend together. So always keep those neutral colors and allow yourself one signature color. For me, it's always pink, but for you, it might be red. Red looks gorgeous in winter. Burgundy, maybe even khaki is really, really in. Um, I don't like any other colors. So an example of this would be exactly the outfit that I'm wearing now, a cream roll neck, brown shorts, brown over the knee boots, maybe my Topshop uh, kind of creamy beige fur jacket, some brown gloves, and a pink bag to add the pop of colour. And then there are lots of options for your bottom half. I love wearing short things, even in winter, as you know, and I usually pair it with my over the knee boots. And if I do think my thigh is gonna be really, really cold, then I would put on some flesh colored tights or even like some uh, patterned tights or something in between. I don't really like wearing flesh colored tights on the whole leg, because like I said before, I think you need to look like you're dressing for the temperature. And flesh colored tights are kind of just like faking bare legs. And I don't think bare legs is a good look in winter at all, but I would maybe just do it if I thought that little bit of thigh was gonna be too chilly. So I love wearing stuff like this, shorts, skorts, and skirts. I also think trousers are really, really stylish in winter, and I don't mean jeans when I say trousers. I do not think jeans look chic at all. I think you can sometimes get away with a white jean, 
and it looks really nice but in general when it's obvious denim I think it's a definite no-no so instead go for stuff that's like maybe a faux leather or like more of a kind of chino fabric it just looks a lot more elegant and polished I've been wearing these trousers constantly they're both from Topshop and they are a faux leather legging in really again neutral colors have this gorgeous like brown tan color here and this like kind of off-white they're high waist so they're really flattering and I've just loved wearing these with a little pair of heeled ankle boots and like a cropped fitted jumper and then of course top it off with a faux fur jacket or faux fur coat like the Topshop one I've been wearing constantly and it just looks like such a nice stylish yet warm outfit and then of course you have your long skirts midi skirts midi dresses which I do think look really really chic with a little pair of like knee-high boots like this underneath it's not my usual go-to as you know I usually prefer something short but sometimes if it is really really cold and you don't want to have any skin on show at all and you want to be really really wrapped up these are perfect because they look so feminine I really love these too this is from mango and it's cream with a little bit of a gold shimmer in which goes really really nicely with a little beige uh, roll neck and this gorgeous faux leather one from River Island with a really lovely belt detail again looks great with like a camel or beige roll neck or even pink literally just using the things around me this top this skirt with this little boot peeking out underneath with like a nude or pink bag maybe even the pink scarf and like the white faux fur jacket like when you're buying things and they all tone in nicely together you can mix and match to your heart's content and create so many different outfits and it becomes so so easy so that's why my tip is just to really experiment with your wardrobe layering things and um, putting them together with like knitwear trousers skirts jackets scarves and when everything is pretty much in the same color scheme you're never going to clash it's so easy to put stylish outfits together and and it just looks so polished and put together. My favourite sentence. <laughs> So next on our quest for our classy chic stylish winter wardrobe we have to look at what's on our feet and for me the only way is boots not Essex boots <laughs> I honestly think that in real winter there's nothing else you can wear it has to be boots but there are so many different types of boots that you can wear I love all types of boots over the knee boots knee high boots ankle boots and I think it's good to have a selection of all of them again in neutral colors so most of you already know my obsession with over the knee boots I just think they are so stylish they make a statement but they're also very practical because they keep your leg nice and covered and like I said earlier you can wear it with a little short skirt like this and just have a little bit of cold thigh or if you must you can wear tights in between but I just think they are so amazing in a beautiful suede or faux suede these are the beautiful Stuart Whitesons that I bought at the outlet in Palm Springs. I'm so excited to wear them but I like to have over the knee boots in every single neutral colour because I wear them so much like almost every day and I've brought them out year after year now for I think this will be like my fourth year in a row regularly wearing over the knee boots so I know I really do get my wear out of them so it's worth having them to go with all my different outfits. So I have a black pair, I have grey, a darker grey than this and also like a chocolate brown. I did actually have to return those tan Stuart Weitzman's I bought in my uh, luxury staples video because they were too big and by the time I got my refund they had gone out of stock but I think they may be back in stock now so I'm gonna think about getting them with my 10% off code also knee-high boots are huge this season even more so than over-the-knee boots and I just got these which I think are the most beautiful things I've ever seen these are one of the things that I got from Farfetch they are Red Valentino which is a brand that I just absolutely love it speaks to me on a deep level like I just love the style and these are an absolute dream the heel height is perfect and there are beautiful pinky nude that will go with everything and I am so besotted with these and these are so so stylish I would wear them with a short like this although it might get a little bit cold so I think they do work better tucked in like a white jean or those neutral trousers or underneath like a longer skirt or a longer dress but they are just so magnificent I definitely recommend getting yourself a pair in a color like a cognac or brown or tan um, or even white um, I also have my white knee-high boots as well that I love or if you're like me and you know that you get your wear out of pink then these are such a perfect choice 
And then of course you do need a little pair of ankle boots, they're a much more casual option but if you do get a nice pair they also do look really stylish. These are two pairs that I've been wearing a lot recently with the trousers, they're both from Topshop. These are a little like faux croc in a really lovely neutral taupey shade and these are a beautiful like pale pinky grey, a little bit flatter so even more casual in a beautiful like faux patent leather so I really like both um, and for me boots are just such an essential for like a classy winter look. And finally, I say this in almost every styling video, but your accessories really are that direct flight to finessing your outfits. And especially in winter, they're not only stylish, but also really practical as well. So first of all, let's talk hats, because if your head is warm, your whole body is warm. So I actually really, really like wearing hats in winter, although this winter will be my first winter with a fringe, and I'm just really nervous about the hat situation because I just don't know how the fringe is going to react to that. But anyway, let's just not worry about that for now. I think hats can be so much more than just practical. They really can be an asset to an outfit and making it look more stylish. And you have so many different like types of hats to play with. So first of all, you could go for like a nice fedora. I think these are so stylish. It looks very Serena from Gossip Girl. It doesn't really keep you that warm because it doesn't cover your ears. But maybe if you don't need to be like super wrapped up, if it's not really freezing, then this could be a really nice option. And that just adds so much to a look. It would look actually great with like a wool coat or a trench. Then of course you have beanies and bobble hats and for me there's a very fine line between just looking shabby and looking chic. We're not meeting in the middle today and doing shabby chic, it's one or the other. And it really just depends on the hat, you need to pay close attention to the details. Clearly this bobble looks like it's made of real fur, it's not obviously because I would never have real fur but it has that look and this in fact was just from Accessorize so it definitely was cheap and I've seen one in Club Monaco that's literally the most amazing bobble hat ever and it's very very similar to this and this looks absolutely adorable and definitely not shabby and then for the ultimate French chic look we have berets I have berets in almost every single color I think you can go really affordable on berets they look pretty much the same as really expensive ones um, I love a little white one or a little nude or camel it just really adds a cute little um, flair to the look and of course it keeps your ears warm which is great. Then of course we have gloves. I usually like to last as long as possible without wearing gloves just for comfort reasons but sometimes it does get to a point and we'll probably get there in a few weeks where you actually really need gloves because it's freezing and don't be that person don't go to Primark and get the five pack of those black woolen gloves for two pounds because it's just going to ruin the outfit it's never going to look chic you could spend a lot of money on a beautiful pair of leather gloves like these from Ted Baker that I love but you actually don't have to I got a really lovely pair of uh, actual leather gloves from H&M last year for about 18 pounds so just kind of shop around but I think like a leather glove always looks more chic and stylish than some wool however I just found these in M&S and these are probably the nicest gloves I've ever ever had they are like a velvety soft kind of faux fur and they are beige they're a really really great beigey camel color that will go with everything and they are so warm they look so stylish with that little faux fur cuff and they're just the warmest things I've ever felt. So it's definitely about shopping around. You don't have to spend a ton of money on a pair of gloves. These I think were about 20 pounds, but think how often you're going to use them. It's definitely worth it. Then of course there's scarves. Not only do they keep you warm, but they really add a stylish element to an outfit. Whenever I pop on one of my Burberry scarves, either the camel or the pink, it just totally adds something to the look and makes it look more stylish. I really, really like these. Um, I know I've talked about them a lot in my videos, but you know, it's because I do wear them every single winter and they are cashmere so again they're really really thin so you don't get that big bulkiness I really don't like chunky scarves I don't think they look very chic at all I think the more lightweight the better but with cashmere you do get that warmth even though it's thin so even if you don't go for the Burberry because they're very expensive although a wardrobe staple that I would recommend definitely look for a cashmere scarf at a lower price point if you can because it's going to keep you really warm um, and not add to that like bulky look then of course there's all the finishing touch accessories like jewelry and watches and sunglasses I think you should definitely have a nice pair of winter sunglasses in your wardrobe because for example like one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses are my Ray-Ban aviators but they do look very summery and I wouldn't really wear them in winter my Tom Ford tortoiseshell cat eyes are a perfect example of winter sunglasses they look very very chic and even though it may be cold 
often it's very very sunny as well in winter so you do need a pair and it totally adds to the look and then finally my favorite thing to talk about in the world bags i think a killer bag is just essential to a stylish outfit it can totally transform it it could be looking very drab but then you add a fabulous bag and it totally just brings it to life as you know i love my designer bags my prada galleria bag i think is such a perfect winter bag because sometimes in winter you want a little bit more space than in summer where you maybe just want to take like a tiny little crossbody in winter you want something where you can keep like your gloves um, a hairbrush because it's going to be really windy and that kind of thing so I like to have a bit more room so I really love this bag for that and then I had to show you this I got from Farfetch which is the Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag which has been on my wish list for so so long it really is just sublime and I love this colour I just love it I think it's absolutely adorable and a bag can just completely transform your outfit and take it from drab to chic so that brings us to the end I hope you found my advice useful and it's given you a little bit of inspiration for your winter wardrobe and don't forget to come back next week because I'm going to be putting together and styling up some winter outfits for you thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week bye